So here I'm going to work and show the difference between a Tri-Cree Rebel. Right here is a Tri-Cree Rebel RGB LED and here is a, a Tri-Cree XP E2 LED. So I'm going to solder this one up. So here is the Tri-Cree Rebel right there. And here's the standard XP E2. A quick comparison between them. So I'm going to plug up the Tri-Cree Rebel quick. And then I'm going to test out first. I'm going to test out the green. So there's the green, the Tricree Rebel, blue, and then the red. Nice and bright. Here's the XB2 green. And then let's change it compared to Tricree Rebel. So I'm going to Try to turn them both on. So honestly, between the two, the XP2 actually seems quite a bit brighter on the green. So the red on the Rebel, and then the red on the XP2, and the red on the XP2 definitely is brighter. Then the blues are pretty close, the same. This one is the Tri-Cree Rebel. So let's start out with the green. Green lights it up pretty good. So now we'll test out the red. Red lights it up pretty good. And then the blue. So that's the, this one is the Tri-Cree Rebel. I'm going to switch it quick over to the XB2's Tri-Cree. I'm going to start out with green. So this is the XPE2 Tri-Cree. Next thing is going to be blue. And then switch it over to red. I don't know how it shows up on the camera, but definitely uh, in, from what I've seen, the XP2, even, even though it is cheaper, is actually brighter. I'm going to be having uh, a, a fun build coming up pretty soon. I'm going to be working on uh, old empty Masters replica uh, Mace Windu lightsaber. I am debating about uh, using Quadcree from Saber Forge for running purple, or I might just do either a Tricree or NeoPixel. Most likely, I'll probably go to NeoPixel as far as a build, but essentially it's just a uh, Mace Windu uh, lightsaber with nothing in it, so it's going to be like a, having a bl blank canvas as far as electronics wise. So it's definitely going to have a 28 millimeter speaker. I'm thinking about doing a Profi board in it with NeoPixel and go from there. I'm probably going to, I'm still debating whether to do a, a dual momentary setup on it or doing a single momentary setup with the Profi board, but I'll go over it for a while. 
I got a couple profi boards uh, ready to install. And that, then I also have a couple Verso cards ready for install in a golden harvest. So, so later guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, then please press the like button. And if you like what you've been watching, uh, please hit the subscribe button. To see our latest video, click on the link to the right. Thank you again. Later, later.